name is Solex, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys and girls how to create a very professional looking Minecraft profile picture. Now all you're going to need is Photoshop, Cinema 4D, your Minecraft skin of course, and a Cinema 4D Lightroom of your choosing. Now this can be the one I use, which is down in the description below. Go down there, click it, click, click, download it if you want, or you can use whatever you want. As I said, it's optional. Now, also, you're going to need the Adam K graphics pack, but you don't really need it. That's optional. You can use whatever graphics pack you'd like, or if you don't want to download a graphics pack or you don't want to use one, that's fine too. You don't need one. It's just optional. Also, I don't have it on this list, but you will need XIFrost 21's Minecraft rig. Now, this is an amazing Minecraft rig. It's very easy to use, and if you if you're new to Cinema 40, go look up a video on how to install it. It's very simple, shouldn't take any more than, I'd say, two minutes. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, now that you have everything downloaded, all you have to do is double click on the Lightroom, and this will open up the Lightroom in Cinema 40, and you should get this nice little thing right here, don't mess around with anything. Go over to the right where it says Content Browser, double click on Presets, double click on FMR5 and double click on FMR5.0 now you'll get this beautiful Minecraft Steve rig and in order to add your skin all you have to do is double click right here where it says that or well you don't have to double click you just click click go to where you have your skin saved and open it and here you go you have your skin in here now you can mess around with these settings down here all you want. I prefer to have it at no feet and I like to have the eyes, the pupils, the eyebrows, the teeth. I prefer to have all that turned off and then you can turn on the hat layers if your body or skin, yeah body, what? If your skin has extra layers you can do that. Alright I'm gonna stop talking now. Anyways, so now we're going to just move your rig however you want. In order to move the parts of your rig, all you have to do is click right here on this little bar thing where the neck is and select the rotation tool if you do not already have it selected and you can just move it along the axis to get it how you like. So I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, maybe have them looking down a little bit angle the camera like that that looks good and we're gonna move it down a bit here and we're going to do the same thing to rotate or to move around the other parts of the body so let's move this leg a little bit like that and then you switch over to this movement tool and move it along the axis like this and this is how you make him look like he's running or whatever so we'll just get that going there we go that looks that looks fine. You're not going to be seeing the bottom part, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. And we're going to go ahead and give him a bit of a bend here. So it looks like he's kind of he's kind of running at you. We're going to twist his body a little bit this way so he looks like he's kind of running towards the camera. And move that a little bit like that. There we go. Now we're just going to rotate his right arm a little bit like this. And we're going to move it out a little bit until we get it to the way we like it. Uh, you want to have some bend in the arm because if you don't have some bend then it looks kind of kind of weird. Alright there we go that's good. Let's go ahead and rotate his arm a bit more. There we go. About that. And we'll have this arm. We don't want to rotate that one. We'll just put it out like like that there we go alright now let's go ahead scroll all the way down to where we see the tools and you can make him hold whatever you want if you want him to have a bow in his hand you can just drag this slider along however much you want but I think we're gonna go for a iron sword right there and once you have the item in there you may need to rotate it a little bit to make it if it's obstructing any part of his face so like mine, all you have to do is click on this and ro rotate the arm a little bit more and maybe 
maybe move it down a little bit and off to the side. Yeah, there we go. That looks fine. All right, now that you have this done, make sure you get it exactly how you want it. Once you have it, go up here where it says Edit Render Settings. Click on that. Go down to where it says Save. Change the depth to 16-bit channel. And select where you want to save it. Let's save it onto our desktop under the name of, I don't know, Picture Rig Boy. PNG. There we go. You can save it. You can change this however much you want. I would recommend PNG or JPEG, but you can do whatever you want. You could. I don't know about PSD. I haven't experimented with that. Just just keep it as PNG or JPEG. Exit that and go next to it where it says render the picture viewer, and this will render the picture. And I will meet you guys when this is done. Alright everyone, now that the render is done, all you have to do is close out of Cinema 4D. And now you open up Photoshop. I'm going to open up the Adam K Graphics Pack version 2. Because this is a fantastic graphics pack. Now if you guys don't have the Adam K Graphics Pack, don't worry, it's not required. You can open up any kind of graphics pack you like, or you don't even have to have one. Whoa there, not so fast buddy. I did forget to mention that when you create the new picture, you are going to want to make it 800 by 800 pixels, otherwise the picture is going to be too large of a file to upload to YouTube or most other sites for your profile picture. And lucky for me, I already have one picked out. You guys can just go search Minecraft shaders blah 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 whatever and drag in a picture or you can take your own screenshots like I have and let's see this one I think we'll go with this one this one looks pretty nice and it's the same one I used in my banner and we'll just go ahead and scale it up a little bit and let's like that let's move it around a little bit get it where we like uh, right here looks good just click the check and we're going to rasterize the layer and now here's what we're going to do we are going to add a little thing I forgot what's called a vignette vinaigrette I don't what are they called vignette that's what they're called vignettes so I have this one in the Adam K graphics pack and I'm just going to hit control T and scale it around now oops I'm scaling the wrong thing Oops, my mistake. Make sure you have the layer selected and then hit Control C. Now if you are using the Prez HD graphics pack, which I know is a pretty great one as well, you should already have a Vignette loaded in there automatically. And it's a pretty great one. But I'm going to use this one for the sake of the tutorial and for saving time. So let's just go ahead and get this all scaled up make sure it fits maybe drag this down a little bit more there we go that looks good and I'm just gonna because I'm OCD I'm gonna hit control A and we're going to center this guy there we go that looks better so now that you have this you're going to want to click back onto your background and this is, you don't have to do this, but I think this makes it look a lot better. You go into blur, and you go into Gaussian blur, and you set it to 4. I prefer 4, you can have it on, you can have it on 8 if you really want. It can be whatever you want. I wouldn't recommend anything over 10, but I like to have mine at 4. So we do that, and then we go back into filter, back into blur, and we do... A radial blur we set it to zoom keep this at 10 set the quality to the best hit ok and here if I hit control Z you can see before after before after if you look to the left it's really noticeable as you can see it kind of blurs together makes it look like it's kind of kind of going fast you know that's what you want now that you have that done and out of the way you just 
go where you have your picture saved, which mine is on the desktop, and you just want to drag the little guy onto your Photoshop, onto your onto your picture, and you're gonna want to scale him up really big, because if he's not really big, then what's the point? And move him around where he fits. I think that looks perfect where it is. And you're going to go ahead and rasterize the layer. Now here's the part where it's not so simple and it's going to take a little bit of practice. But it's definitely worth it to make it look just that much better and more realistic. You go over here where it says FX. And you hit, hit Gradient Overlay. Now you have this. You're going to set it to Overlay. And you're going to move this down to like 30. Or actually maybe less. We'll go, we'll go 25. That looks good. And now we go to Inner Glow, over here, set this to Overlay, and turn down the opacity. I like to keep it at a good old 64, and turn up the size to 20. And now you have that, you're going to hit Control and J on your keyboard to make an exact copy of that layer. And then on this above, outer layer, above layer, epi layer, I don't know, why am I even talking? You go over to Filter, and where it says Filter Gallery, click that. Make sure you are, are in Stylize, Glowing Edges, and you're going to want to set your Edge Width to 2, Edge Brightness to 4, and your Smoothness to 7, or you can set it to 8, but I prefer to keep it at 7. Actually, how does 8 look? I think 8 actually looks, eight actually looks better in this case. We'll go with 8. Alright, now once you have that, you go up here where you have these blending options and you're going to set it to color dodge. So now you have this. Next what you're going to want to do, is you're going to go to your eraser, set the brush size to like 200, 150, whatever, anywhere between that. Set the hardness to zero and set the opacity down to 62%. And you're just going to want to brush away at the parts that don't make sense. So I'm, I want to keep it around the outside, keep it like over here. The sun's behind us in this instance, so I kind of want to make it look like the outside edges are illuminated. Maybe a bit of the sore too. And just brush away a little bit. Make sure you keep the outside looking nice and bright. Once you have it the way you like it, I mean it looks good right now. Just touch up on it a little bit, make the bottom darker. Once you have it the way you want it, and you're happy, then you go over here and click to make a new group. You click, press shift, and click on this one, and you drag it into the group. Now you can rename this group, like render or whatever, and you're going to want to hit control, shift, and N. Hit enter, and you will create a new layer. Now. You're going to hit Alt with this layer selected. Click in between the group and the layer. Now this will turn this layer into a mask for this group. And this is very simple. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your color picker and choose a yellowish color that's close to white that kind of resembles the color of the sun, kind of like this. Hit OK. Go over to your paintbrush select a size of about 120 set the opacity to 0 or not 0 sorry set it to 80 and then you're just going to want to brush lightly over the edges to make it look a little bit more illuminated by the sun be careful that you don't do it too much doing it too much can really hurt the look you just wanna see right there right over here that's a bit too much so I just hit control Z and I do it again that looks a little bit better and once you think you have it looking nice and fancy then you're going to want to select the white color and make the brush smaller to about 60 only do this if you have an iron or a diamond sword or tool and this just adds a little bit of shine to it, make it look like light's reflecting off of it. If you're doing diamond, make sure it's blue. Because it's iron, we can just take our paintbrush and go like that down. 
Maybe get it even a little bit more nice. There we go, that looks good. So as you can see, if I hit Control-Z, it looks boring and bland. Control-Z again, it looks like lights bouncing off, up off of it. Looks very nice. Now that you have that, here's where it becomes really fun. You can add like smoke, particles, whatever you want. I'm not gonna do any of that, I wanna keep this clean and simple. We're gonna add color corrections. So if you're using the Atom K graphics pack, I know other graphics packs have color corrections. Uh, Prez HD graphics pack has color corrections. You don't have to use color corrections. In fact, hey, this looks really good the way it is right now and you can save it, use it as your own. But, for those of you who do want to use color corrections, you can even make them yourself just by going in here, changing the brightness, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, etc. Or, if you have a graphics pack, you can just do this. Now, what I like to do is I like to use Shamazing and turn the opacity down to about 30, maybe, maybe 35. 35 looks good. You can see the difference without and with. It just makes the blues a bit more vibrant, and I think it looks amazing. Then I like to select blue and turn that down to 20. There we go. And then I'm going to, let's see, color. No. I'm going to take the contrast one, and I'm just going to drag it down over here above this. Hit that. And there you go. Now, it seems like it's shifting all the focus to the character and away from the background as you can see you have that that looks good but now it looks like whoa it really wants me to focus on the character he has here and that's what you want you want the center of focus to be on the character and not on the background that's why I did the blur and all that stuff so now you're pretty much done all you have to do is go to save as and you can save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop as a PNG. And we're just going to name this profile picture.png and save it. And there you go. You have your profile picture and it where is it? It looks pretty fancy. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to leave a like down below comment if this tutorial helped you in any way and also I'd like you guys to comment what you want to see in the next tutorial anyways my name is Solix peace out